Here's a diffraction grating experiment. Light of a wavelength is shining on a diffraction grating. Angle between the second order maximum and the normal to the grating is zero. Oh, my, my, my brain is starting to feel a bit funny now. I'm going to draw. Whenever I feel unsure, I draw. So I have a grating here. Light comes in. Normal to the grating is the, the dotted line. So they are looking at the second order maximum. So the n equals 2. And the angle theta. So this, this whole experiment is studying the second order. The variation with sine theta of lambda is shown on the graph. So you're going to change the wavelength lambda. And you see how the second order angle will change. Then you plot out a graph, I guess. And so n equals 2. And the question is, how many lines per millimeter are on the grating? <sighs> My, lines per millimeter. Okay, so let if we want to find the lines per millimeter, we need to find the d first. Because this one, lines per millimeter is 1 over d. d sine theta. So we need to find out what is d. Okay, uh, where shall we start? If you're not sure where to start, start by writing down the equation related to the question's topic. If this is a diffraction grating, you write down the diffraction grating uh, equation. N lambda equals D sine theta. As simple as that. Then we go from here and decide what to do. We are trying to find D. Okay, okay. So we find D, we can find N. So what is D? We need to find these. Do we know theta? No. Do we know N? Yes. Do we know lambda? No. But then why did they give us a graph here? There's a few reasons. You could pick any point on the graph, let's say this point here, plug in values and calculate. And you can find your value already. But I'm going to show you how you can use a gradient to calculate because why not? You know, you gotta be a little bit more level up. So we have lambda on the y-axis, sine theta on the x-axis. So I can rearrange this to be lambda equals to d over n sine theta. Now, if you didn't recognize this, this is a equation of a straight line. Y equals to mx, right? You know? Okay, so the gradient is d over n. So either you can use pick a bunch of points or just grab one singular point and calculate that. But sure, I'm just, just going to pick a point here. Okay, so I'll pick that point, which can also be used to calculate the gradient of the whole gigantic triangle. And I'm going to calculate... Uh, D. Okay, so the shortcut is to say that, okay, I know that D over N is the gradient. And the gradients can be very conveniently calculated. Oh, N is 2, by the way, because we're looking at the second order only, right? So we're going to use D over 2 equals to, how to find gradient? Nah, ne, I just said ma. Uh, y y two minus y one so seven five zero minus zero is just seven five zero. Convert to meters. They are by x two minus x one. So just taking these two points, so that will be zero point six minus zero. I just like that only ah. Okay la. So this one is minus zero. This one is minus zero. Just that. Okay. So what's d? So I get a d value of about two point five times 10 to the negative 3. Eh? 10 to the negative 6 meter. We'll rub off this 3 there. Press calculator, you should get that. Uh, But they are looking at lines per millimeter. So maybe I should convert this to millimeter just to help me out later. So I'm going to do that. 10, 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3 millimeter. There, I think I've done that. So what really is this D? This D that we have found is called the spacing uh, between lines. Line spacing of a diffraction grating. So you have a diffraction grating, many, 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 many lines. So that's line spacing. But you want lines per millimeter. So you have to do an extra thing to calculate that. So the number of lines in each millimeter will be 1 over D. And you can do that as 1 over 2.5 times 10 to the negative 3. We went in millimeter, right? Okay, so we keep the millimeter there. So one line is that distance. So let's divide 1 divided by 2.5 times 10 negative 3. 400. All this line 
one line per this distance. So 400 lines per mm. So let's see. The answer is A. Yes, it is A. So A will be how you can calculate this. So yeah, there are a few ways to do this. I did the gradient method, but you can do another method. Okay, so yeah, I got a bit blocked here. So yep, yeah, that is how you can calculate. Whenever they throw you a graph, you can use your practical, lab practical skills and try to think of, oh, straight line equation, gradient is this expression. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.